Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and today I'm going to be discussing an issue that uh, has been brought up a number of times and I just wanted to provide a little bit of a, of a pointer or a hint on how to deal with it. I call it the uh, cladding on split wall issue. So first of all let's go ahead and just draw a, a wall here to get us ourselves started. And I'm just going to stretch out here and I'll throw another wall there for instance. So basically when you have a wall like this and let's say that you split it and you raise one side up you know where you've got some situation or maybe you have multiple you want to split this wall up you're going to have what I call you know split lines right. Uh, let's just throw some doors and windows in here as well just to get ourselves off the ground um, and I'm not going to worry about the actual uh, uh, openings and such just just want to get some <coughs> artifacts into the wall itself. Okay, so here's a basic wall. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and split this wall and um, show you kind of what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and select it and I'm going to split it right down the center here at 12 foot. Okay, and then it, for, for whatever reason, you know, maybe we want to um, for some reason, let's just say that this wall is oh, 10 feet tall rather than the regular 8 foot wall. So I'm just going to go ahead and change that to say 120 inches, doesn't really matter. Okay, so now we've got a situation here. So now we've got basically a wall line where we've got a split occurring. Okay, so this is what I call a split wall situation. <coughs> Maybe you have a, you know, this is a garage over here and you've got a higher roof and then you've got one that steps down. You've got something, you know, living quarters over here or something. I'm not really concerned about the details on that, but... The main thing is, is we've got the cladding, right? And typically, you know, when you render this out, this little line uh, goes away. It doesn't really matter. But if you're, you know, doing screenshots or whatever, and you have your uh, profiles, or your edges turned on, you know, this line is there, and you know, it's like, for a lot of people, it's kind of annoying to have that show. So they would like to eliminate that line. So basically what I suggest doing, um, and of course these are separate wall panels, right? So there isn't really a way uh, to merge them currently into one uh, continuous wall panel. So they remain as separate entities, separate assemblies, groups. <clears throat> so we do have a little workaround for that. But the key thing about this workaround is that it's a small manual edit. And maybe at some point I may add a, something into the plugin that can automatically take this uh, into consideration and, and handle it. But for now, I'm going to demonstrate a little manual edit that will fix the problem. So basically, though, the thing to remember, though, is any manual edits that are made to the wall panels, right, they are manual edits. And so, therefore, if you were now to edit uh, this wall panel or, or add another window or door, it's going to regenerate the entire wall panel and any manual edits that you've made will be eliminated. Um, so just realize that if you are going to go ahead and do this uh, next step, you're going to want to do it at the end of your design process, kind of after you've finalized all of your, uh, uh, you know, doors, windows, whatever other modifications you need to make. You want to have those wrapped up first, then go ahead and make any manual edits to your wall panels, and then don't do not you know edit the wall panels with the plugin after that. Otherwise, you'll eliminate those changes. Um, but again, you know, if you do, then you can always redo this this step. It's not going to hurt. So, first things first, I'm going to jump into this taller one, and then I'm going to actually jump into this um, solid group, which is the cladding. And now that I'm in here, I'm going to draw a line or an edge, starting here at this corner. I'm going to come down here. And I'm just going to come right to this corner right here. Okay. So essentially what I've done is I've split now this edge into two edges. Right. So there's that edge. And then there's this edge, which is the bottom piece. And once I've selected that bottom one, I'm just going to go ahead and right click. And you got to kind of do it careful because it wants to deselect itself. And you'll notice this little option here to hide. So I'm going to hide that edge. Okay. So now I've hidden that one side. Now I'm just going to come over here and repeat the process. Of course, I don't need to split the edge on this side. Jump into the cladding group, select this edge, and hide. 
Okay, so now all I've done, I haven't changed the geometry at all. Uh, all I've done is just essentially hide that edge right along that uh, that seam. Uh, and the same thing goes for this side. Um, even though I have split the edge, essentially, uh, um, basically this this group is still a solid, right? So we haven't destroyed uh, you know, the solidness of the group, if that's a concern for you. We've just split that edge. Okay, so there you go. So now you can see that that annoying little uh, seam or split is now not shown, even though these are two separate uh, groups, assemblies. And, and you'll notice if you zoom in close enough, you'll see that there is a you know a discontinuity there where the the, the texture doesn't quite match up. But you know from a distance, it's really not all that worrisome. Um, and again, if I was to regen this now, this wall assembly that would put it back right where the edge wasn't split and it would unhide it uh, so you can just hit undo there <clears throat> so anyways that's the solution and then again if you need to go in and uh, do that same process here with the sheathing if you need to or want to uh, you could do that exact same process and and uh, uh, you know you'd have the same effect so anyways just a quick uh, tip on how to deal with uh, split split walls and cladding and um, hopefully that can uh, solve some of the problems that people are having with that. So anyways, give me uh, any ideas or thoughts you have on this and any of their uh, quick, uh, quick, uh, quick wins or trip tips. Um, I always like to hear what feedback or ideas you guys have. Well, thank you.